This is Bottles. And this is Fabs. We're playing Moirai. Wow, I don't even have to include this. Hello, Chris Johnson. Let's lower this for a second. Excuse me. Okay. Go. Go, 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 gadget. Alright, well, this is like a first person pixely game. It's interesting. Who should we talk Reminds to me first? Of I'm scared. <laughs> Reminds mm. me if I'm scared. Zero out of ten. Mm. Are you okay? Mm. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Phil. Who should we talk to first? Uh, go to the priest. I think it's a priest. It's yeah, that's a priest. a priest. He's a priest. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. All right. Go find her and bake her a cake. I will do that. Then after that, pound her cake. Jesus. That's how you make anyone happy. Look at the bilk shelf. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Eh. Talk to... The lamp. <laughs> wait, apparently it's the bookshelf. No, wait. No, I love how it's just like... It's like, look at the bookshelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. To the, the bed is just part of the wall. Go talk to the nine looking bed. How would he even sleep on I that? I bed. And you're just part of the wall. Let me just sleep on the wall. Man. All right. Let's let's see if they got their lefts and rights wrong. Who are you? My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. They are now. will never be home. They'll they never you. come back. They never loved you. Imagine with like this big, nice, like nice setting, and then it just turns into like really bad, like really fast. Who are you? I would not like that. I heard there's gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. It looks like I just predicted the future. Um. Maybe you're the dead guy. Oh my God. Hey, chef. <laughs> Hello there, children. Looks you like a lovely. Don't talk about it you. looks like a day out. Lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Oh, how do you know I love bestiality? Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Literally shit written on his face. Need to stay close to mama, otherwise I'll get raped. <laughs> Did you hear There's about... mama. <laughs> Did you hear about the boy? I raped him. <laughs> Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boy out of my sight. Who's this? Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Well, I don't give a fuck anymore. Leave the town. I guess so. Leave There's nothing the else to town. do here. Hmm? It said something about going to our house, but... Go to the barn? <gasps> oh! Poke. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Why do I feel like that sound was not meant to come out? Like, I... What do you mean? Like, I'm like, bam, I'm like... Rrr. Well, like, maybe it's just because of the pixel adventure, but, like, I feel like it's not supposed to exist. <laughs> How could, could you imagine if, like, at this very moment we were just, like, being haunted by, like, like a sheep? Just and haunted it, by sheep. It just happened to be that we're just playing a game with sheep. Like, like, two seconds from now, we'll just hear, meh. Just from the background. Yeah. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. You should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Okay, seriously, that looks more like a, like a lock. Oh, wow. That looks incredibly out of place. So the sheep sound, because it wasn't <laughs> looking, it was hearing. <laughs> it sounded so awkward. It's like, meh. <laughs> that was the perfect noise. Hey, you, come over here. This is actually really cool. Hello. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans... Are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. How oh, do I oh. use it? What the hell? Wow. Maybe space. Oh, is this a maze? Oh, this is a maze. Yeah, boy. Hey, boy. Here we go. Here we go again, guys. Well, it said that people get lost here, so. I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck? That is a rib cage. Someone must have died here. <laughs> the bones look as though they are a child's. No, oh, it's just the sheep there. Right? I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Wait, didn't they say there was a boy that haunts you when you go in here? Maybe. I don't know. Is this going to be like Pixel Slender? I really hope not. 
<laughs> you just turn around, you just see like because you know Hello. I drink a lot of iced tea and I don't feel like changing my pants. <laughs> Great, don't pee on my chair. I'd kill you. Like in my chair now, right after I mark it. Don't mark your territory, please. <laughs> I'd rather you not. Well. Goodbye. Go talk to him. <laughs> Fine. No, he just wants to show your ba his baking recipes. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? What should we say? Why do you have blood? Blood? I don't have blood. Uh, it's just jam, you know. Why? <laughs> Why do you have a knife? To cut your neck. Now get out of here. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing, man. I'm your mother. Mommy? Mother? <laughs> should we let him pass or should we attack him? Just let him go. Alright, I will let you go. Goodbye. He's gonna stab us in the back in like two seconds. Like that, immediately. That's so this? confusing. I'm your mother. Mom, you never told me of your sex change. Mother! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen you in. I... Oh. Oh, that's a dead woman. Erg, oh, no, please still... help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. Then they thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Should we? This is when my morals kick in. Mm. Kill her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great morals! <laughs> Please, end it quickly. Well, no, I actually, like... Stab. Like, as a person... Oh my god. We have, like, blood all over us now. Like, as a personal human being, if I was dying in pain and, like... It's either drag me out of there, which might take up to a billion hours because you're lost in a maze. Yeah. Or just kill me right there and stop everything. Please, please, put me to sleep. What do we do now? It's just like the same thing with vegetables. Like, if I'm a vegetable in the hospital, please pull the plug. If I'm a vegetable, please eat me. <laughs> no, I'm I, hope, I I'm hope I'm broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. I want to be a tomato, so I'm different. Hello. That's a fruit, you dick! I want to be different. Because no one can tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Hey, hello. Farmer, Farmer approaches. approaches. Why do you have blood on your... This just happened. Uh, fuck, what did he say? I don't have blood on my overalls. Oh, this is cool. Why do you have a knife? To cut your neck. I heard moans, what have you done? Nothing. Nothing. I am your mother. Let me say what will happen to you. And this is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you choose for the previous player. No way. No way! Wait. Wait. What? Did the wait, what the wait. We have to play this again, and then put something different. Go I thought that it. was like a puzzle. Go for it. Go for it. Back. And we're back. Alright, let's type in something more entertaining than what the other guy said. Oh, good. Okie dokie. Like, like, we both know this is not gonna go well. No, this is not gonna end well at all. Hi, bitch. Farmer, Farmer approaches. approaches. Why do you have blood, blood on your overalls? I was raping a sheep. I was raping a sheep. It's, a it's asshole, it's not... <laughs> Why do you have a knife? <laughs> to rape the sheep with. What else? I heard moans. What have you done? That's the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end. At, at least, least for now. now. It is up to the, the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you chose for the previous player. Into your name. Bottles and pabs. All right, let's put in the email. Probably after this, uh, we should wait until we get emailed back, and then that's when this will be uploaded, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, press space. Awesome. Anyway, that was actually really cool. Yeah.
First, let's go back, because I'm curious about something. So, we'll be right back. We're going to time skip again. And we're back. I'm curious to see... It's the sheep again. Oh, God. I'm curious to see what happens if we don't kill her. No, i got to get help. Then leave, leave me, me, you coward. coward. I think we have to kill her. Wait, why do I have blood on me already? Because you already killed the... Oh, yeah, I killed the farmer. Yeah, we didn't farmer. show that, but we killed the farmer from before. Yeah, well, it'll probably be shown when we fast forward. Hi. <laughs> and mm. no one and no question. one suspects a thing oh god oh fuck why oh, do you have blood on your overalls fuck shit bad <laughs> <laughs> well I think we're done yeah alright well that was a really cool game actually uh, the idea of it's interesting yeah but it's a little short for my taste well then again it's hard to move forward with these types of things they're kind of meant to be short yeah I mean, it's not like you got to put your high score on there. Yeah, I know, I, mean. I know, but I don't know. I I would I would have liked a game that would you know, had a little bit more to it. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. The idea is cool, but I would like to see more. Like, if is what I'm saying. Whoever made this, if they implement that again, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Into like a longer length game too. Like, I understand why it's short because it's something that's hard. It's just kind of something hard to extend, so to say. Yeah. I mean, I understand why it's short, but I, I don't know. I'd like to see more. Or at least more games like this. Mm -hmm. It's very cool when you have interaction like that. Like, there was this one game where uh, it was, uh, you were solving puzzles, I believe. And you were with some other random person you did not know who it was. Unless you had a Twitter. Because then you could uh, yeah. contact a friend. But it was both people just doing puzzles. Oh, that's cool. I forgot what it was called, though. I can't remember for the life of me. Mm. I could probably do some research and find it, but... Whatever, if we find it, we can try to Let's Play it. Alright, but for now, this is Bottles. This is bad. Later. <laughs> Damn it! No! This is my game! I played through it all, I have to beat it. Shut up. <laughs>